Hey everyone, welcome to the stream. Glad you could join us. We're just trying to test all kinds of new stuff going on now. We got new lights, new cameras, all kinds of bugs and gremlins at work today. So we're just trying to make everything work. So we apologize if the stream gets wacky. We're battling some crappy internet connections too. So if we lose you, you know, we'll be back. Um, we're streaming on Facebook, Instagram, YouTube. Um, YouTube seems to be the, the strongest if you uh, have any, any lag. But I'm actually on, on Twitch also. So pick your platform you want to watch us. But again, thank you for coming by. My name's David Lozo. We're going to do a little painting tonight. We're going to finish up what I was painting yesterday. Um, actually took a little longer than we thought. So we have to figure we just break it up and uh, and paint tonight some more. Slap in some hummingbirds. There's the last hummingbird left. So you can kind of see where we're at right now. I'm in a weird spot in this little corner here, but... Trying to go over here before my big stupid hand goes into the, the birdie area. But again, fire any questions, thank you for joining us again. We do this, you know, about once a week. Um, our schedule fluctuates, so we kind of uh, just pop up when we pop up, so hopefully you'll... Uh, We'll see you again as we do these. Megan, thank you for joining me. I'm, I'm so sorry for your parents. I'm glad this can bring you some kind of remembrance of them in, in a happy way. It's amazing how much the hummingbird really reminds people of, of loved ones lost. It's one of those things, and, and that's how it came, it came into my vision. Is that you know I've, I've traveled around the world, kind of studying these things. You know how um, different cultures honor their dead, and you know butterflies, hummingbirds are a constant part of that story. Hey, Alan, thank you for joining the stream as always. Great to see you. Kaylin over on Facebook says amazing work. Thank you for sharing. Your art is hanging up in our room. Hey, Kaylin, thank you for joining the stream and for snagging art and bringing it home. Appreciate that. Hello, David and wife. <laughs> hey, Mark, thanks for joining again. Thanks for hanging out. And the shipping department, don't forget about them. They'll be very upset if they're not yelling at a neighbor for something. I don't want to talk crap about the shipping department, but I think their five star review is earned. Sherry Dawson says, impressive. Thank you, Sherry, for joining us. Appreciate it. Megan, back on Instagram, says, any particular type of brushes you prefer to use? I find ones that I use don't hold up uh, very well. Maybe I'm cleaning them improperly. Hey, Megan, great question. So, um, first step is for cleaning the brushes, and it's so far away. Uh, I'm a, I take care of my brushes like crap, also. I use them. Um, I'll often, you know, put them in turf and then not for a few days. Um, so I use this stuff right here, and it's basically just called the Master's Brush Cleaner and Preserver. It's um, original B and J specialty prepared. Um, I'm very picky my brushes. Actually, if you were on the stream yesterday, I tried a new brush, and the new brush lasted for two minutes maybe before I just didn't like, couldn't take painting with it anymore. I just, it just wasn't what I was, what I like. So I'm very particular um, with the brushes that I like. This is actually a pinstriper brush that I use here. Um, it's a script liner. And that, I always use script liners, and that's basically the detail of a long, a long stroke here. 
Um, and then and there's some made by Robert Simmons's, which were pretty nice. Little Cornell makes some that are pretty nice. Um, but I use a smaller size, usually an O or an O. They wear out to me a little earlier than they should, but they're not things where it's, you know, it's, it's my favorite. I beat the crap out of it. It makes me a bunch of paintings, and then it moves on with life. Chunky feed. I'm trying to work through a chunky feed, guys, so we'll see if we can uh, keep it going here. I have to restart it. If you lose us, we will be back. Dan is over on Twitch, running up the, the Twitch count. Hey, there you go, Dan. Adding <laughs> to my Twitch numbers. <laughs> Says hi to the shipping department. <laughs> Gonna make me huge on Twitch. It make me, makes me feel older than going on Twitch. Uh, Megan switched to the Facebook feed and says it seems a little better than Instagram. All right. Yeah, Instagram seems particularly bad tonight. Instagram seems really crappy, so if you guys are watching Instagram, feel free to check us out on Twitch or YouTube, or you can go to Facebook. Those seem to be a little better right now. I don't know why Instagram is cramming us up, but... Can do a little warm-up strokes before I get started. Fading Sun photo says it's coming out beautiful. Thank you, Fading Sun. Appreciate it. Sully Wagon. Wagon. You know, amongst the, the, the more serious stuff. And the more cutesy stuff. Say right here and It's like, we don't like this Friday night streaming. Uh, we believe that hummingbirds are the souls of our relatives who come to visit. Uh, to transferring of souls and the guiding, um, the, the other pieces of work that I do in the research and the story, so I, I love being able to capture that with them too. I think it's time to probably take care of that. See, put my hand right in that leaf. All right, let's get in here.
Thank you, Holly. Again, these little they're they're really they're fun to paint. It's, it's a fun challenge because again, yeah, with enamel, it's just strong medium. You know, it's it's on or off, and it's, it takes a really delicate touch, and I really kind of remind myself to let things breathe. Don't over render. Tiny bird feather armor. And they're kind of layered together like chain mail. I have feeders right outside my window, and I've mentioned it before. They kind of work as they just they sit outside and just, you know, mesmerize as they fly around all day long, so they kind of force themselves into paintings. Object has a little bit of you know, shape to it while still keeping it very light. And I'm not rendering every every feather, I'm just kind of giving the you know the idea of feathers. And I'll kind of use a little bit of thickness variations on this side here to kind of sell some of that shape. Under the, under his little beak. <laughs> Shouldn't you have done the beak first? Listen, Maybe yes, of course I should have. <laughs> of course I should have. Okay, just check. But I love little armor, you know, these little, these little, yes. <laughs> Excited to paint little, little feathers. Megan's asking what technique was used for the background. Uh, it's beautiful. I start with the lightest layer first, and I apply the paint, and then I scrub it, sponge it, scrape it. Um, all done with brush, no spray paint or like that. And then kind of, uh, once it's done, I use a heat gun to dry it, and then I apply another layer. I just keep building up texture, different paint, different viscosities, and just kind of keep working it until um, I get kind of the, the ballpark that I want. I kind of know what I'm going for, but the end result is always kind of a, you know, it's all very unique. It'd be difficult for me to say, okay, make this background again. It doesn't really work that way. I wish it did. I'm notorious for going, oh, that's awesome. All right, let's do this little beaky because we need to. Michael says, I just ordered the Castaways print. It fits me well. I'm a Shriner and my parade unit is the Sudan Pirates. <laughs> <laughs> Excellent. That's tailor-made for you. Yeah. I won't say any dirty words so I know if we're back or not. <laughs> it's back by all your dirty words. I'm just gonna use seven. Megan says, um, I just saw one of your pieces being sold as a print on Etsy, and I was wondering if you were aware of that. No. No. <laughs> Send me a link. I was not aware. 